The Save Our Seas Foundation team sets out on a 22-day expedition to Mexico's remote Socorro archipelago to conduct studies on one of the ocean's largest giant manta ray populations. After traveling 250 miles across the open sea from the southern tip of Baja, the research vessel will visit four locations, San Benedicto, Socorro, Roca Partida, and Clarion. And here, within the archipelago, the Save Our Seas Foundation will conduct a multitude of groundbreaking studies that include satellite tagging, photo identification, and DNA sampling in order to unlock the many mysteries of manta behavior. The name manta stems from the Spanish word for blanket. The creature's name was first coined by a Panamanian pearl fisherman who imagined that their huge wings resembled giant blankets. Sharing a common ancestor with modern day sharks, they are the largest of 480 species of rays. The massive disc-shaped bodies can grow to over 20 feet wide and weigh in at over 4,000 pounds. The feeding behavior of mantis is unique to only a few species of rays. Most rays feed on the bottom, but mantis feed in the open water on plankton. They have these two large fin-like structures that project on either side of their mouths that they use to create a vortex of water that funnels plankton into their mouths. Although it appears remarkably sleek, the mantis skin is fairly coarse and is covered with tiny thorn-like denticles and a thin layer of mucus. This mucus coating is thought to generate more streamlined swimming abilities. One of the major aspects of this trip that I'm excited about is the collection of this mucus coating from the surface of the animals. One of the major questions about this mucus is whether it has any antibacterial qualities that protect the animal and also whether it may have some implication for pharmaceutical research. The Save Our Seas Foundation continues to assist in the preservation of endangered marine wildlife and securing the future of our ocean realms.